Jones, Do right? an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfreds. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. All right. Well, to old friends. To have a drink. It's beautiful. It's a stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Tell me, Scott. What brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Or could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. There we go. Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. A royal five. Mm, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Mm, produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Uh, rare? These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Uh, clients? Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. I think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Let's see what's going on with old Manfred back here. Oh. Nope. Oh. Shelby. Shel Shelby. What the fuck? Shelby. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? <coughs> Your call is lodged, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? He's dead. Oh, God. Let's look. Let's 
Thought we got some records in here, but. Scott? <gasps> oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be as scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We've got to get out of here fast. I thought there was a phone in here. Shine it up real nice. Let's get that magnifying glass. Get that shot glass, even though I don't think he touched that one. And the bottle. Alright. No, shall we go this way? And she was playing with the little, uh. this thing. Shall we touch the phone? Check real quick, because I do believe there's another phone out here. Shall we go out there? Why is it so difficult? Dad, you could be much longer. The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. All right, I think I'm just heading out. Oh wait, wait, there it is. There's that phone. All right, let's get out of here. Pretty sure that's everything. It's been touched, so let's go. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yes. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Pretty sure I got everything. Pretty sure I got everything. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop, correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. I could have sworn I got everything. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? I could have sworn I got everything that they touched. Maybe I didn't get the books this sheet. Maybe well, that's well, right. Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? 
Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. I swear I got everything we touched. I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Reason. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're gonna be a good girl, you're gonna go home, and let me get on with my investigation. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! Oop. Oop. stubbornness of you. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Understand you. Can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Remorse. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Let's go get her back. Laura! once again in my arms. So we're going to be playing as Ethan again, it looks like. Wednesday, 11.15 a.m., 3.366 inches. 